Oh, it's slow with talking, you know? I was sitting there thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna quit streaming. I'm gonna quit playing video games. I'm never gonna play another game again. Borderlands 3 is the worst game I've played in my life. Gotta freaking talk to Wolf all the time, but I said, you know what? No. There's one thing keeping me going. One thing that makes me want to play video games still. And that thing is Eden 6. Oh boy, I can't wait. Oh man, low frame rates, dinosaur enemies, the entire Genevieve part. Oh man, I can't wait. Why did I run to the thing? I'm still running into this thing. I can just use the map and do it at any time. But I'm still in the old boomer mindset of running to the fast travel station. You know what? Screw it. I'm here. Might as well use it. What color are we on? Wait a minute, where is the color thing? Where's the color thing? Where's the entire point of the whole stream? Um, how long has that been missing? Okay, I have the color back, but the game is gone. Maybe it's the first ever podcast stream. As a vault hunter walked forward, she targeted a Maliwan troop. She was taking heavy fire, but she took a deep breath and had her sights, pulled the trigger. Bam. The Maliwan's head blew up like a watermelon getting hit by a cinder block. It was disgusting and bloody, but she knew it had to be done to save the universe from the Calypso twins. Begrudgingly, she moved forward. With Reese Clay, hey, there it is. Oh, this is the part with the copyright music car. You know what? Hang on. Let's head into sounds and turn that music all the way down. And now I can actually put this part in the highlights for the first time ever. YouTube, this is a special moment for you. You never get to see these sections. These are the sections we have the deepest talk. The most philosophical discussions ever in Borderlands 3 gameplay is right here. And you're about to get a sneak peek. So, you guys ever poop your pants? I wonder if the YouTube audio copyright thing will pick up if I sing the song. Hold on, hold on, it's gonna be no day. If this video got demonetized because of that, there will not be an ad right now. We're running out of road. No, we're not. This is the most road ever. This is the road you use when you chase down Laszlo in GTA 5. Have you played GTA 5, Maya? Probably not. Too busy training on Athena to be part of the Benny Jesseret. Well, guess what? You're gonna get killed in the next scene, so it didn't even matter, did it? Whoa! Is that Mortal Shell? I did not know that game was already out, dude. <gasps> Mortal Shell, no! Opinion on The Last of Us 2, question mark? Um, whichever opinion is the most controversial and will get me the most views. Saying you hated it is not controversial, but you get a lot of views. But saying you liked it gets you the people that hated it and the people that liked it. Because people that liked it will watch your video and say, yeah, I liked it too. The people that hate it will watch it and say, you're wrong, I hated it. But if you make an only hating on a video, the only audience you're gonna get is the haters. So I'm gonna go ahead and say I liked it. Cause that way I attract both audiences in my video. Just like The Last of Us 2 had double the amount of freaking encounters it should have had cause the combat was not that good. And the game took so long to end, it just would not end, but I loved it. It was a great game. Very good experience. Up there with uh, Red Dead and um, Borderlands 3 is best games ever. Okay, we got a situation here. I'm about to level up right before Rampager. I would very much like to use this gun for him, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. We... What? Come on! Seriously? Oh my god. Oh, it's a laggy wheel as well. Awesome. Ooh, white guns. Awesome. Honey, put that back. We can't afford it. But mommy... I really want Liwa. We can't afford a Bionicle right now, sweetie. I already got you Onua and Tahu. But mommy, I want Liwa. Put it back. Okay, fine. Let's see what you oh, it's got. red. I thought it would be here green, but it's Tahu. Dang, I should have used Tahu for that joke. Uh-oh. Here comes phase two. Don't worry, guys. It's okay. Lego cancels this one after two years. It's very stupid how Disney World has reopened. They should not reopen yet. You know what's even worse? When you do the freaking Star Wars parade now, it's sequel crap. Like freaking Captain Phasma and the First Order are the parade, and it's like, what? Get them out of here. I want to see Poe Dameron. I want to see Luke Skywalker and the Stormtroopers from the first movie. Oh, whenever I think of the new Star Wars trilogy, it fills me with rage, but it's okay. It's all right. My favorite Planet Eden 6 is coming up soon. It'll all be okay. Sorry, Rampager. But we're not on the same page. Go play a game you actually enjoy. It is much more fun when you are actually having fun. I enjoy Eden 6, okay? We're gonna go to Eden 6. It's gonna be fun. I know you guys think this part is boring, and I agree it is, because Ava's here, but we're gonna go to Eden 6. Minimal Ava interaction, it'll be fine. Yeah, 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 Tannis. We all know you're a siren. Frickin' Battleborn had the thing. It said Tannis is not what she seems. We've known this for years, Tannis. Borderlands lore channels were bone dry for like six years. We've had plenty of time to speculate this one. Oh, Maya. Time to go to Eden 6. You coming? Maya's dead. Guess that's a no. Come on. 
Set a course to Eden Six. Yes. No time to waste. Woo! Finally, Eden Six. Eden Six. You bought Johnny Cupcake merch. It was the closest thing I could find to you. <laughs> I gotta get my own merch suit. If people are gonna buy a Johnny Cupcake shirts, they'll definitely buy a T-shirt with literally just the default arcade font from Microsoft Word that says Oboe Shoes for thirty bucks. I used to have moral standards. Now I don't. Randy Pitchford rubbed off on me. What can I say? Speaking of moral standards. Uh, speaking of bad segues, more like it. I gotta go pee, but after I pee, we will go to Eden 6. I'll be back in like a minute. I actually have a Be Right Back screen. I never use it, but I'm gonna put it up real quick. Alrighty, I'm back. Here we go, Eden 6 time. Alrighty, gotta go find Clay and talk to him. I believe he's in the town down there. It's called Reliance, if I'm not mistaken. They fixed the frame rate. Yeah, they fixed the Eden 6 frame rate. Wow. That's incredible. I can't believe Randy finally fixed Eden 6. After all these... It feels like years. After all these months of complaining, they finally did it. The lazy softies are lazy no more. They actually fixed Eden 6. No, it is Eden 6. Here, listen to the music. There's the music for the freaking combat loop. It's the good music. It's the best part of this planet. See, actually, all the zombies in this level are the people from the playthroughs that got to Eden 6 and then got bored and quit. It's like Dark Souls, how it's like the Hollows are like made like other players, like other adventurers, you know, it's like a meta thing. It's like a meta thing they're doing. All these zombies are people that got to Eden 6 and this is really boring and sucks, what the heck, and then to stop playing the game. When I think of the overall vibe of playing through Eden 6 in my mind, this is honestly pretty close to what it's like. Depressing Swamp, Souls of the Damned, boring quests, green, Suicide zombie, ah! Oh my god. I didn't know Eden 6 is that bad. That's right, Randy. Next time you're in the magic store buying a magic kit, think of all the blood that's on your hands from people who have ended it all after playing Eden 6. How can you sleep at night? So, this is a really cool trick, guys. For this next trick, Randy, reveal a new game. Shut up, I wanna do a magic trick first in my conference. Uh, for my next trick, I'm gonna make these guys will to live disappear. Okay, so I'm assuming you guys have like gone to children's magic shows at the library. You know that trick where like they like have the guillotine thing for the hand and they like, oh, they cut their hand off. Ah, but it just like pushes the hand down and replaces it with a new hole. Then they like pull it back up. It's like, wow, my hand was fine. And when you're like six, you're like, dude, that's incredible. If Randy Pitchford brought out the hand guillotine at a conference and said, all right, I need a volunteer from the audience. Would you go up? I would not go up. There is no way I'm going up there. That thing is real. He's gonna mess it up and cut my hand off, dude. In my opinion, Andrew Wilson is the best known dude. Andrew Wilson sucks. He's so bad at those presentations. Oh. He is the bad guy from all those games. Like any game where you fight the evil CEO, he's that guy. Here at EA, we are dedicated to making incredible experiences. That's why we've butchered the Star Wars license. Uh, FIFA sucks now because Ultimate Team and trading cards and crap. We have the license for every sports game somehow, so. Sucks to be a sports fan. We did publish Apex though, so can't be too mad at us. Haha. It was playing Dr. Zed's monologue here, like during the cutscene, but then also it was over the radio for some reason. Not sure why. What's in your head? In your head. Zombie. 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 B, B, zombie, but they send a full squadron of bombers with their tanks and their bombs 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 and their guns. I've said that joke to my friends several times. You know how many times they laughed? Zero. None of my friends ever laughed at that joke. It's a good joke because it's like she says bombs twice, so I exaggerate on it. It's funny. Shut up. Someone in YouTube probably laughed at that. They may be like five, but they laugh. Dang it, I'm a funny guy. For my English class in, you guessed it, community college, we had to bring in a song and analyze the lyrics. And obviously, this is a freaking 101 class. Everyone brought in very deep songs, such as Fortunate Son. And we had to sit there for 20 minutes analyzing Fortunate Son. Like we didn't freaking know what it meant in the first one second of the song. Everyone knows what that means. Who doesn't know what that means? Obo is blocking out the fact that he was the one who brought in Fortunate Son. No, I did not bring Fortunate Son. I brought Bangarang. Where's the macaroni hat in Borderlands 3? SMH Lazy Softies. The model is right there. Just import it into Blender. Get the shaders, get the bump map going. That's all I gotta do, put it in Borderlands 3. What's your opinion on playing Private Jessup in the Borderlands movie? 
After some consideration, I'll do it. If they need a cameo for a voice line of a soldier opening a door like, ma'am, or like, sir, for like Rowan walking in, I'll do it. I, I just did it. I recorded it. Just take that, put a freaking red versus blue filter on it. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't, don't even credit me. I could be uncredited. I'll do it for free. Time to go to Dead Haven. I do gotta say, it was kind of lazy. You'd expect a game like Borderlands 3 to not just asset flip an entire level, but they did. Maybe if like I was playing Borderlands 1, it'd be more acceptable. Cause you know, Borderlands 1 was more of a gamble. They didn't know it was gonna be a breakout success yet. Especially like a DLC map. If it was a freaking Borderlands 1 DLC map, that'd be not fine, but it's understandable. You know, I'd rather play freaking Old Haven reskin than Sanders Gorge. Ugh. Hey, we actually leveled up, okay. Let's spin the wheel on Eden 6. Green. They moved the ending of the Eden 6 quest line into the ending of the Hammerlock wedding quest line with the blood pool. Interesting. Because, you know, Aurelia is Hammerlock. So it makes sense. So when I go for my daily walk in the park, there's an old guy who's always walking at the same time as me. And like, we pass each other, right? And he goes, hey, how you doing, buddy? And I'm like, hey, how you doing? We have, we have like a little cordial exchange, right? It's like, hey, what's up, man? But the problem is, it's not a very big park. We pass each other probably like four or five times per walk because we both walk at like the same time for like an hour. So we're just lapping each other constantly. And he wants to say hi every single time. It's like after the first time, like, hey, how you doing? You know, it's like, hi, welcome to the park. We're walking. Yep, that's what we do. And you pass him a second time and he goes, yeah, nice weather. And you're like, yep, uh-huh. And then you're like, okay, he already used hi. He used weather. What else can he even use? You walk by him again and he goes, how you doing? It's like, no, you already used how you doing. You already said how you doing. You can't use that again. What are you gonna do for number four? You walk by him again. How you doing, bud? He uses how you doing like every time, dude. Nothing has changed in the last five minutes since you just asked. And it's very awkward for me because I just kind of go, doing good, like every time. And it's like, is he doing it on purpose to annoy me? I feel like he might be because if, if I was him, I would do that. I would just like <laughs> talk to everybody in the park. Like, hey, how you doing? Just ask the same question like 20 times. <laughs> look, look at this stupid young guy. I'm going to annoy him. It's going to be hilarious. He's going to think it's so awkward to like talk about it on his Twitch stream. Ask him a question that requires several minutes of thinking. Then get the answer on the next lap. <laughs> That'd be great. I pass him. He's like, hey, how you doing, bud? I'm like, doing good. Got a question for you, though. He's like, oh, really? Yeah, uh-huh. So there's two sisters. One always lies. One always tells the truth. So this is how my story ends. I never did take over the Jacobs Corporation. Oh, you know what I can do? I don't know if I want to do this actually because my family is all asleep right now, but you reminded me of woodwind instruments. And by reminding me of woodwind instruments, you reminded me that I have my replica Ocarina of Time within arm's length. There you go. Pretty good, right? This is country roads. This is going to be so loud. See, I'm, I'm like, I'm like whispering into it, but it's still very loud. I think I can hear someone walking around upstairs. Oh God, I found a drunken sailor. It's very high pitched though. This is not going to be good. It is early in the morning too. Oh, someone's walking around. Oh my God. <laughs> someone, hang on. Somebody's walking around upstairs. Okay, bye. That was fun. See, see you next time. I'm going to get yelled.